Our next guest earned three Emmy nominations for his portrayal of a chicken nugget making drug kingpin on Breaking Bad. He is back to life as Gus on Better Call Saul. The final season premiered tonight on AMC and AMC Plus. Say hello to Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> Giancarlo, you're a real celebrity. You like, you know what I mean? And I mean that in the best possible way. I mean, this is the kind of like uh, entrance you want to see a person make here. Well, thank you very much. Yes, and thank you for coming. Great, hey, thank you very much. You know, it's it's so lovely to be back with a live audience of all these enthusiastic folks. It is nice, especially isn't it? tonight. Yes, and it's especially. Impressive, your acting when when you meet you and you see what you're really like, which is high energy and delightful, and then you see Gus on Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, who is just really scary more than anything. It took me a long time to develop this personality. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> I do have a little twinge of nervousness when you do that. Bob uh, Odenkirk got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today. You were at the ceremony. I sure was. I love Bob. That's yeah, right. big hand for Bob. He is on. Uh, he's down the block on Vine, I think. Your star. You have a star here on the Walk. My of goodness. Fame. So I'm leaving there. Uh, I took a picture in front of Bob Star. I knelt down like you do. Very star ceremony like and pointed to Bob Starr. My phone's been blowing up for the last hour. Congratulations on your star. I, I, I'm answering. I said, no, no, no. It's Bob Starr. It's yeah. Bob. So we left there to go to the luncheon. A walk around the corner, Michael Mando's asking me and Tony Dalton, where's your star? Where's your star? I said, I think it's a couple of blocks back. Alice and Tatlock were walking, one of the writers of Better Call Saul, uh -huh. looks down at the ground, goes, oh my God, you're right here. So, so I'm on Ivar and Hollywood. It's still there, got a couple of cracks. I'm gonna go out at midnight if anyone wants to join me. I'm gonna patch them up. Putty it up, putty it up. Putty yes. it up, baby. I'm really honored to have had a star in 2014 yeah. and honored to have been there for Bob today. It's one of those things that seems kind of silly, but then when it's your name down there, you're like, oh, that's pretty great. It's pretty great because, you know, we have a legacy here in what we do as a family, in Hollywood, in the film business, in the television business. And to have a star and an honoring like that means you, you've done something. Uh, and yeah. it's nice well, to be. Well, Trump has one too, you know, so we know. <laughs> but I'm bumped. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did something. I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> you guys had a big season premiere uh, event uh, for the final season last week. We sure did. You brought your daughter to that? I did. I brought two of my daughters, uh, my youngest, Ruby, and uh, our second daughter, Kale. Have they been watching these shows uh, all along? They have not. My eldest daughter has have great stories about her holding my hand where my bust was cast for the final season of my Face Off episode. My youngest daughter walked into her bedroom, saw that bust after Vince had given it to me, oh. and went, <gasps> I, I think she was that. four years old, and she screamed and went, oh my God, that's Papa! I, oh, that's yeah. Papa's, and that is it. That's yeah. the original, that's me with it. And I had to put it in the basement where it lived for a long time. Oh, that's gotta be yeah. scary. Yeah. <laughs> my second daughter, Kale, has just gotten into Better Call Saul, started watching it, said, Papa, this show is brilliant. This show is even better than Breaking Bad, and I urge everyone to watch it. I said, you're late to the party. She said, doesn't matter. I have joined the party now. <laughs> <laughs> the party has now started. There you go, baby. This is, um, you know, it's interesting because, uh, and I think this is a testament to both your talent and the sh greatness of these shows, is that you, you are Gus to so many people that I think we forget that you've done so many different things. Like, for instance, here you are in Trading Places with Eddie Murphy. What year was this? Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, you ask, you're asking me. Uh, yeah. It had to be, it was yeah. a long time ago. Uh, this movie's a fabulous movie, so many great actors in it. Yeah. Uh, and I remember being behind him for most of the scene, trying my best to upstage him. Oh, were you really? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course! <laughs> That's what we do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you were in uh, Desperately Seeking Susan, which I have to tell you, I've seen like 30 times. And you were like on a, uh, yeah, I've seen it a lot of times. I had an imaginary relationship with Madonna when I was in high school. <laughs> my goodness, and uh, it was a one-way street? Totally. Love it. <laughs> Totally, still I, is. By I the almost way. caught up to you. <laughs> I may be a little bit ahead of you. Is that right? So you uh, did you like? I shared get to a know Winnebago Madonna with her, and uh, it was a Winnebago that had two sides, really, and two doors. 
And in between was an accordion door. Remember the accordion doors that yep. sort of clip? And I would close the door, and then I'd look, and the accordion door would be like a little bit open. Now I had a hot body. You see, I was a little, you know, thin and sure. yep. barrel and all that good stuff. Yep. And I know, I'm kept wondering, why is that accordion door keep sliding open? And I think she peeked before I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say, baby. Really? Wow. <laughs> you got all those by Madonna. <laughs> and she said to me, you know, Giancarlo, Giancarlo, you should, you should just drop the Esposito. And I said, Madonna, it's Esposito uh -huh. in Italia, uh -huh. but she's Italian too. She said, I like you so much, but it should be Giancarlo. And I said, but there would be something missing for me. She said, but try it, I'm Madonna. You should be Giancarlo. And I said, how about Giancarlo and Madonna? <laughs> how would that be? Yeah. And she That's did... after I yeah. see. <laughs> in this season of Better Call Saul, will you be in scenes with Brian Cranston and or Aaron Paul? Oh my goodness, you know more than I do. So I got a, bo I got a bone to pick. Oh, by the way, Vince Gilligan says thank you. You sent the writer's room barbecue. That's right, I he did. He never forgot it. Yeah. And I want to say something to you right now. Yeah. Oh. It better be beef or it cannot be chicken barbecue because that's my line. Oh, OK, yeah, you're right. Don't worry, I'm, I would never infringe upon <laughs> Gus's territory, believe me. He says, thank you. <laughs> Biggest secret ever kept by a cast and crew. Inklings that Brian's in town. Why would Brian be ta in town? No one has seen him. Oh, Aaron's in town, too. Oh, go figure. Is he really? No one knew anything. Flew him in on a private plane. No one saw them or knew anything. Everyone kept it a secret. We all keep it a secret. And then here we are, you know, uh, two weeks before we release the season. And oh, yeah, Brian. And they announced and, it. Yeah, yeah, they announced it. Yeah. yeah, why did we keep the secret? Is it true that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will be in this? <laughs> You oh, have... mum's the word, baby. <laughs> Giancarlo Esposito. I'm sorry, I pronounced it wrong, too. Uh, Better Call Saul, Mondays at 9, AMC guys. and AMC Plus. We'll be back with the Orville Pack. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.